made progress with the uh, work on cassava, especially through the application of molecular breeding, which GCP has facilitated. When you have a good project that runs well and is producing results, it kind of attracts other projects. We now have quite a handful of uh, projects. It's on the basis of the work we've done with the GCP. GCP has quite a lot of experienced scientists who guide the process. They've had experience not only in the developed world, but they've worked in developing countries. They know the challenges. They feel it. They feel the same problems we do. So when we tell them our problems, is not strange to them. They really appreciate it. That has helped us a lot. Because of the kind of support we've had, we've been able to release one variety of cassava that is bred with molecular markers for resistance to cassava mosaic disease. There's another one that we'll be releasing in the next few months, if not few weeks, that is high in starch. But we bred it for resistance to CMD and it's combining another trait which is very important. Those are real big progress for a breeder to see that the tool is helping you deliver what you are meant to deliver, which is for us the primary product is improved varieties. GCP has helped in making young scientists in, in my institute, everybody wants to be a breeder. They are eager, they want to use the technology. One problem that we are having in agriculture all over the world, whether developed or developing, is lack of breeders. But in my institute, we have many people who are aspiring to be breeders because they've seen that molecular breeding can deliver results. They feel that molecular breeding is modern, young person will get attracted to that technology. So we have made progress in having the interest of people you know, come back to plant breeding and even other uh, supporting areas like molecular pathology. We've been able to use the GCP to attract that so that we can improve on developing cassava varieties with resistance to diseases, with tolerance to drought, and with high yielding capacity. The GCP has helped us to raise the consciousness of not only the young staff, but even the management. They appreciate us and they really give consideration to our work because they see that we are dealing with serious minded people, people who want to help the system, people who want to have the best varieties released. So we've been able to articulate all that through the assistance of the GCP. Now, we don't have to genotype our varieties anymore because we need to have medium to high throughput system and that our laboratory cannot support. The whole world too has moved on to having more uh, genotypes and more data points. So there are genotyping facilities. GCP has been able to assist us in negotiating. There's always somebody at the GCP supporting us to make sure that we get the best rates and we get the best technology. We do SNP genotyping now. We have several mapping populations, up to five being genotyped currently at K-Biosciences in UK. That has been facilitated by the GCP. We've been able to get involved with other organizations like Cornell University to begin to consider other kinds of molecular technologies. All this we try to integrate in you know, one project complementing the other. But the point now is that we can do better work, we can be more precise, we save time in breeding. We, once we use marker-assisted selection to select for resistance to diseases, we've also gone into pyramiding of genes for resistance to cassava mosaic disease and other diseases. We are using molecular markers and this is still facilitated by the GCP. And so many things I can keep on counting. It's really gratifying to know that you belong to a group that supports a national program to operate at a level that was never imagined. Well, the best you could do was to dream. This was the area that belongs to only CG centers. But now as a NAS program, we can do this. And we think it's a great development and a good step in the right direction. <laughs>